Shockingly, the role that I most want to play is producer. I want to be responsible for bringing great projects to the screen, putting men and women of all ages, sizes, ethnicities, sexual orientation to work. I just, I like diversity and I, I want to bring stories that uh, haven't been told yet in, uh, to the screen. So, oddly enough, producer. I don't have just one favorite movie, I have several. And I know that they're my favorite because no matter what I have to do in any given day, if one of these movies is on, I'm going to be late for whatever it is. Um, so I will say Shawshank Redemption, uh, Driving Miss Daisy, The Color Purple, all three of those. And recently, uh, um, oh, Betty, uh, 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 Baby, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. It's one of my new favorites. I have sort of been approached to do Broadway, but people probably don't know this. I have severe, severe stage fright. And I <laughs> don't think that that's ever gonna change. And you can always know when I'm really nervous because I just start just sweating profusely. But you know, I also think the things that scare you are the things that you should definitely do and try. And uh, so one day, but not tomorrow, because <laughs> you know, I'm scared to death. So there you go. I would recommend for anyone planning to break into the business, the same thing that my mother always uh, taught me or told me and that is to get trained. You have to be trained at any job you take on, whether it's learning how to make fries at a, a fast food restaurant or you know, becoming a doctor. You have to be trained. It isn't as easy as it looks. So start with training and uh, put your best effort forward and I think the rest works itself out. My upbringing in Alabama made me the person that I am today. I am uh, a little nutty, pretty smart, eager to learn, and uh, family-oriented. And uh, my mother was a big, uh, staunch believer in, in education. So I think your upbringing informs your work. And uh, I, I, it definitely helped me, and it definitely made me embrace who I am. So, you know, I'm a Southern girl and I'm appreciative of the fact that I get to be a Southern girl as a nurse, a Southern girl as a maid and the help, uh, just different versions of, of, of what I know. And uh, so embrace your roots. It makes you who you are.